Brandon with Fly Miata, and we've got uh, another new product for you today, the ND Master Cylinder Brace. So, as always, before I dig into it, you have questions, drop them in the comments. If you like this kind of stuff, like, comment, subscribe, does help us out. Um, and real quickly, if you don't like vertical videos, we got you covered. Check back tomorrow for a horizontal video that's annoying, not annoying to watch on Not Your Phone. So, what is this thing and why do you need it? So this is what we call a master cylinder brace. A uh, master cylinder brace is exactly what it sounds like. It is a brace for your master cylinder. Well, why do you need a master cylinder brace? Your master cylinder is bolted to the firewall, so where is it going to go? Well, your firewall is effectively, a, in this application, a giant spring. So when you step on the pedal really hard, you're actually moving your master cylinder forward and that is, that's a spring in your brake pedal. It makes it more difficult to modulate. It makes it so it doesn't feel as good. It's the same concept, generally speaking, as braided brake lines that don't expand as much uh, under pressure or our Willwood calipers, where the caliper is much more solid and it's not gonna flex apart as you put a lot of pressure into it. So we're gonna give you a quick demonstration real quick. We've got Kyle in the car here. So we have our brace in place, it's tight. And when Kyle steps on the pedal, uh, go ahead, you can see it move just a little bit. So it's still gonna move a little bit, but not a lot. Okay, and then let me loosen this up real fast here, theoretically, maybe. So you do have to preload it a little bit to get it um, just right to make sure that it is as strong as possible. And it's just a little awkward in there, but it's not too bad at all. It's much easier to do this when you're not on live uh, TV, I promise. Okay, so we're gonna just kinda spin that back, get it out of the way, and then we're gonna do that again. So this time, watch the distance. This There's a gap here, right? So watch the distance right there, and that's gonna demonstrate why you need this. Go ahead. So you can see it moving. It moves that way and up, and that's the spring. So that's when you step on the pedal. Um, um, when you step on the pedal, that is going to be a spring and you don't want a spring. You want all the force that you put into the brake pedal to go into slowing down the car. Any of that force that goes into other things, such as flexing the firewall, flexing the brake lines, flexing the calipers, makes it harder to modulate that brake pedal exactly uh, correctly, particularly when you're braking really hardly. So the harder you brake, the more beneficial this is going to be. Um, so, that's pretty much it. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Now the install is also straightforward. Um, it bolts in right here, uh, but then also, so right here, but also kind of down there. You're gonna have to take my word for it. A um, little awkward to get your hands in there. Sometimes you can get your hands in there that way. Other times you need to go in, uh, take the wheel off, take the fender liner off. Either way, not a very complicated uh, install there. So won't fit with the Fiat 124 because there's a coolant bottle right there. Won't fit with right-hand drive. I bet a mirror image would, um, but we haven't tried that. We don't have any right-hand drive cars here. Um, one thing to note briefly, if you have our Hush muffler uh, with the can control package, which gives you active control of the muffler and how loud it is or is not via your windshield wiper stock, look that up on our website, pretty slick. But this, the solenoid is we need to extend it out a little bit from the original bracket. So not a big deal. New kits come with that. Uh, if you have an old kit, we'll have uh, the extended version available on our website here shortly. So that's pretty much it. It's straightforward. The really short version is for a street car, it's nice. It's, it's convenient. It makes the, the pedal feel better. For a track car, it's extremely beneficial because you're at that limit, at that threshold braking all the time and it makes it feel better, work better, easier to modulate all the way around. So um, that's pretty quick and easy type of thing. 
So I'll go through the questions we got ahead of time here. Um, again, if you have questions live, drop them in the comments and we will get to them. So is this a reasonable mod to install if you are not upgrading other brake components, calipers, rotors, lines, et cetera? Yeah, I would say it is. I would say that the more of that stuff you do, the more beneficial it's going to be. Uh, this is going to be the easiest one to install. So it's, and it doesn't require, you know, bleeding the brakes or anything. It's not that complicated, but a little more complicated like that. Um, so yeah, it would be beneficial. Will I see any difference on a street car, street car or is this another track only mod? Um, we have lots of street mods. So if there's, there's plenty of things that we sell that are awesome on street cars and also awesome on street cars and track cars. Uh, this one, if you are always planning your stops 300 feet in advance and you never use more than 3% brake pedal pressure, no, you're never gonna notice it. If you drive your Miata like a sports car, you are gonna notice it. It is gonna make the brake pedal just a little bit more firm. And again, the harder you brake, the more you'll notice the benefit uh, in it. Are there any interference issues with aftermarket shock tower braces? That is a pretty wide open question. Not that we're aware of. I'll show you real quick. So it is tucked down pretty far. You can see this is the stock shock tower brace, but it's it's got quite a bit of clearance there. The only thing to be aware of is this bracket right here uh, that the shock tower brace actually bolts to. You do need to retain that because this little tab right there, the off of that base plate, if you will, the master cylinder brace does bolt to. So, and the ECU does as well. So hopefully your shock tower brace still has that. Uh, but assuming you still have this plate, it will probably work with most aftermarket shock tower braces. Um, I'm not gonna guarantee that because there's absolutely a possibility that there's some obscure brace that's gigantic uh, and we have not accounted for, but it'll probably work. Uh, it should work with most of them at least. Would the constant pressure cause any damage or premature wear to the brake master cylinder? No. So you do need to preload the, the little foot here, um, and the foot can deflect just a little bit, uh, which helps with alignment purposes. But basically, you're not, you're not trying to cram the master cylinder that way. You're just trying to keep it from moving this way. So you preload it just a little bit. Now that is on the body of the master cylinder. That has absolutely nothing to do with the hydraulics inside of it. You're not making it so there's constantly hydraulic pressure in there or anything like that. Uh, so the really short answer to your question is no, it makes exactly zero difference. How hard is it to install? Is there any cutting or drilling? No cutting, no drilling, pretty straightforward install. Uh, worst case, you've got to take that wheel off and pull the fender liner down uh, to get to the mounting points at the bottom here, because it slips down, it kind of, sits like that, you know, a foot over. So, um, but no, super easy install otherwise. Will this fit, fit right-hand drive cars? No, unfortunately it will not. Um, again, maybe a mirror image version might, uh, but that's not something we've got in the plants for right now, so. Is it possible to over tighten the plunger on the brace? What happens if it's too tight? Um, I mean, Anything's possible, I guess, but you'd have to try real, real hard. Um, I mean, if you if you got out your breaker bar and went to town on it, you could maybe strip out these threads or you could maybe deform the firewall that way. Um, you'd have to try really hard. Please don't try that hard. Just get it snug, make sure it's preloaded. It does, it does need to be kind of snug, but it doesn't need to be bonkers tight, so. Uh, will there be an NC version? Good question. Um, I like that idea. We will work on it. Uh, nothing is in the works right now, but hopefully in the future. So do we have any questions? Nope, no questions. All right, easy enough. Well, there you go. Um, that is the ND Master Cylinder Brace. It is available on our website right now. We can ship it out tomorrow for you if you just have to have one. Uh, so as always, Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to stop by next week. We are here every Thursday at two o'clock mountain time. Um, if you have suggestions, let us know. Otherwise, be sure to, suggestions for videos or anything else for that matter. Um, otherwise, 
thanks for stopping by. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we will see you again next time.